good morning. It's Friday morning. We just left the Mountain View Motorcycle Campground over here in Elk Park, North Carolina. It's Friday morning. We're out on a kind of what you'd call a group ride, I guess. But a couple of big bikes, uh, but mainly dual sports and uh, as such. And buddies looks like they're geared up for yeah, off-road and riding. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to go out here and uh, I think he said uh, about five hours of riding. End up down in the uh, Morganton area uh, for lunch. I'm going to explore some roads that I've never been on here in Western North Carolina, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got my guy at app going to record the track, so I know how to get back here. Looks like it's going to be a fun day. We'll jump back on here when we get to a little bit more interesting other than pavement. Well, we just crossed the Blue Ridge Parkway and jumped on some gravel roads. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of this road is, but uh, kind of got spread out here. Trying to catch up with the main pack a little bit. Trying not to lose contact with those behind me, but uh, guys on the small adventure or dual sport box have checked out. course at the next stop sign but well, we just took a little break back there I have no clue where I'm at uh, I just know we're on an 18 mile stretch of gravel road got kind of narrow some beautiful areas in here I'm going to say the same thing I always say how come I've never ridden in here but uh, know about it but man oh man we've had all kinds of roads this one seems more like a two track kind of narrow there's uh three or four bikes up here in front of me but they kind of scooted out in front of me so can't really see around these corners too well see if there's any traffic coming so the car in one of these corners it might be a little bit of entertaining they did come out at that little store there i think it was mortimer i can't remember the kathy's store country store something like that uh, didn't get a chance to go in check it out but i've seen it on some pictures on social media stuff but I've always wondered where it was at I always said I'm gonna go over and ride well, guess what I did today but kind of a group kind of stretching out everybody's doing their own thing and when we get to the end of this road we'll meet back up I think we're gonna go down to Morganton and get us a bite of lunch oh, looking forward to that I'm getting kind of hungry Oatmeal has done left. Got up and gone. And it's 1241. Where these guys ride. And the campground has been spectacular. I woke up this morning sun was coming up and the mountain view in the mountain view motorcycle campground the view was spectacular I'll, uh, I can put in a picture here somewhere but I sat there and had my coffee and oatmeal and chilled out just to watch the sun popping up it was a good morning I don't know whenever I go camping like this I kind of like the find a spot kind of away from 
the crowd, so to speak. Nothing wrong with crowds, it just like a little solitude when I first get up of a morning. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm really looking forward to seeing this track once I get it all, once we get back, see the distance of it. I didn't hit pause whenever we stopped for rest breaks and stuff like that. That shall be interesting. Looking at that track and coming back over here and riding this again, maybe go in the opposite direction just to see it from the other direction. I haven't had any water crossings. Well, if that's good or bad, but I haven't had any. And I can't understand, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it rained at my house. And everything over here has been powder dry. So. But it's a great day. Oh, that's beautiful down there. Guess I better pay attention to where I'm going. I think I might try out a couple more of these uh, dual sport events, especially stuff that's relatively close to home. Hey, this will qualify as a backyard 150. I'm only an hour away from home. Well, would you look at that? A backyard 150. We just finished up a late lunch at the Mexican restaurant there in Morganton. And I don't know if I started it or what, but looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us tapped out. We're just gonna bomb the highway or the road back to uh, the campground. Uh, I might've been the first one to mention it. I'm tired. Yeah, stayed up a little bit too late last night. Bench racing, telling motorcycle tales, and all of that fun stuff, but uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. So I said, after lunch, I had the fat belly syndrome. I said, I think I'm just gonna head back to the campground. And once I pulled the plug out of the little dam there, Yep, the water started flowing and it got contagious. And next thing you know, there's seven of us going back to the campground. Oh, it's my fault. But no, uh, no real reason to overdo it on my first day of the dueling banjos uh, dual sport uh, rally. So uh, they say this is a pretty good road fun twisty road that leads us all the way back up towards Elk Park. And, uh, and, uh, about 50 minutes to get there. So yeah, headed back to the campground. Get these boots off my feet, put some shorts on my butt, and rehydrate. We'll be back sure tomorrow we'll tackle that uh, the rest of this route maybe a little more.